So when I was working with a kids ministry team at a church here in Columbus, we spent a lot of time thinking and planning ways that we could help parents better engage with what was happening on a Sunday morning uh, in church. And uh, we found some curriculum that would help us do that. But in all reality, what happened to those little pieces of paper that we would send home with the parents for them to put on their fridge is that they would just stay on the fridge. Myself included, there wasn't a lot of engagement with what was happening on a Sunday morning throughout the week. And I think if we're really honest, most of what we do in kids' ministry kind of trains parents to hand over the responsibility of the spiritual formation of their children to the church. And I really kind of want to hand it back to the parents. And I'm saying that as a parent that has for the most part felt pretty inadequate to that task. And so imaginative prayer is really, it's really the result of my own effort to try to flesh out what does it look like for me to build a life of faith, hope, and love into my kids. And imaginative prayer is, is I hope, a resource for churches to kind of do this on a broader scale and to kind of hand the responsibility back to the parent, but to do it in a way that gives the parent tools to really engage in the life of faith with their child.